Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the pops. Pretty Leia. Oh! Fears to Fathom Episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike. This happened to me when I was 19. A little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. So remember, these are like Reddit stories. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Me too! I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents were always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. I like to drive more than a plane. I'm so scared of planes crashing and me burning and dying. This convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. And it was a little over a 12 hour drive. Well, that was your first mistake. I don't know who gave me the ability to control the vehicle, but you messed up. You messed up. Everybody knows that I hit curbs for fun. It's a hobby. I don't know how to fucking drive. Oh, oh, okay. Drive safe, Holly. You. That's what I'm rerouting. Drive safe. Oh my god, I'm gonna wreck! <laughs> was it the best at driving? Well, whatever you fucking play on your phone, of course you're not. I cannot believe this. I just fucking whipped out my phone and hit the fucking wall. say hold on where did you reach i don't know dad that's a good question whatever i figure it out i'll let you know oh i have low fuel okay we need to find gas nearly halfway through the drive i realized i was low on gas wait a minute what is that driving at night is really therapeutic for me no turn off the music we don't want to listen to any music we're gonna drive dad i'm driving so about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam, told you to take a flight. That sounds like my father. I love my dad, but he would be like, I told you. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling, oh my God, I hit a tree. walking oh here's the gas station i talk to you how's your night going where are you headed how's your night going he just looked at me um where are you headed he just looked at me okay there's absolutely nothing that he does okay all right you heading to the bridge by yourself the bridge, the Norwood Valley Road. I mean, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. <laughs> and people who went looking for them never return. 
Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. It's not clean, so I can't use your toilet? All right, pump two, $10. And one more thing, okay? If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on a gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Jesus Christ. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Yeah, I do know that much. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. I'm just gonna run them over two points, maybe five. Oh, excuse you, excuse you, that's my car. What are you doing? Why do you have a pedo van? And why were you at my car? Excuse you. Mom text us, let's read it. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something from my room? I'll pay you back. I can see. Let me go in real quick and see if I can't find dog food. Pat, pat. <laughs> Look at the dog. Ah. Here, bitch. That'll be $5, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. At pump two? Which one's pump two, man? This one? My car was parked a little far at first. Are you kidding me? In there. Oh. <laughs> okay, the dog's food just gonna sit on the top of the thing. <laughs> okay, I think we're parked okay now. <laughs> Is there a way to like... There we go. This is gonna bug me so much. Go in. There we go. There we go! I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Ooh. On the road again. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What is that? On the road again. Monsters truly do exist and every single one of them looks just like you and me. I'm, I'm driving, mother. Mother, I am driving. It's not expired or anything, right? I don't know. Um. Hello? We're, thank you. Oh, we're catching the, excuse me? We're catching the car and our lights are flickering and cutting off and on. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Yo, can you go a little bit faster? Yo, stop turning off my... Did we go around this car? Yo, they just took off. Oh, what is this? Oh, this must be the bridge they were talking about. Oh God, something's gonna happen on the bridge. Something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. No! Do not cut off. Oh. Okay, we made it across the bridge just fine. I can't tell if like some paranormal stuff's happening or genuinely our car's just a piece of shit. I'm so far away from the bridge. I'd have to- Ah! That's a bunny! There's this very weird thing about that night. <laughs> Saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Oh, of course you did. Oh, I don't want to get out. I don't get out. It almost seemed that someone had to literally put them there. I didn't think much of it at the time. They were very heavy, but we somehow were able to maneuver them. Excuse me? Why are we smoking? Excuse me? The car wouldn't start back up. I don't like whatever is happening right now.
And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever that bull crap the gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Excuse me. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. 10.23 PM. Oh my God, the wind's picking up. I saw a car nearing. Oh Lord. Don't hit me. Yay, come back! Uh, if somebody could leave another human being stranded like that, I wouldn't pick up a hitchhiker. You got me fucked up. Do we die here? Is this where we die? Let's get back out of the car. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. We're still stranded. Oh, there's another car. Hi! 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 I'm gonna stand in front of you this time. Hi! Okay, you don't give a goddamn. All right, you just pushed me right out of the way. You're the girl from the gas station and your blue shirt, dude, the sus one. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for long. Need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, I hop in. Be quick. You know, it would have been a lot quicker if you actually got out and helped me instead of just sitting in your car, truck, whatever this is. Don't look at me like that. Please don't look at me like that. This is where we die. I hope everybody loved having llama in your life, but this is where we die. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Um, let's just tell I was driving home and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, what? My name is Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not gonna tell them our name. Why are you driving so goddamn slow? Can you pick up the pace a little bit, sir? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say you're one of the brave young women. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? It's it's just an old car. That's it? I think so. What are you trying to say? What happened to my car? What did you do to my car? You were at the gas station and my car was acting perfectly fine until then. What do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are some things and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Okay, so leave them the fuck alone. 12.08 a.m. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Oh, Lord. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance because besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. I don't know what the heck that word was. Hi, the man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. I mean, look at that fucking hairline. That's definitely creepy. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. Um, yes, yeah, only gonna be here for a few hours. 40 for a single, pay cash only, pay. Room number nine, right over there. Thank you. Talk about the card, $90, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing, okay? Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Nine, room nine. Oh, it's actually... Where the fuck's the mattress? Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get at old houses. Where's the mattress? Oh, I can do this shit again? Oh, wonderful. Couldn't have slept there. <laughs> 
what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. He he he. Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. Why the fuck are you in my room was the question I asked. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff? Guy at the front desk gave me this room. He he he. Why are you giggling like a little schoolgirl? I'm gonna have to ask you to sleep outside while I make the room. Oh, step outside. I said sleep outside. I have to get my stuff. Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. <laughs> Why your face look like that? <laughs> okay, you have fun in here. The speed of lie. Hello. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. Oh, he's going to go grab my car. Okay. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He, 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 he. Well, I wonder why. If I had somebody standing in my bathroom when I went into my hotel room, I'd probably be really upset too. But you have a good night. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Um, hello? I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. So I need to go grab coffee is what you're saying. the coffee machine premium coffee oh what do we want espresso cappuccino yo did they fucking drug me yo these fuckers drugged me are you kidding me right now dad i can't even read my text message Woo! oh my god i got turned around okay okay we're good we're good we're good. This way. 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 This way, this way. Lay down. Lay down. Sleep it off. 18 a.m. I was sedated. That was sedation. Wait, I thought the phone didn't work. Who is in the room with me? Somebody's in the closet. Y'all, somebody's in the closet. I didn't feel safe going out. Definitely don't feel safe here. Yo, homie is in the closet! <laughs> Hello? Who is it? Joe from front desk opened the door. No. There's someone in my closet, Joe. Joe, there's someone in my closet. Open the door. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not messing with you. It's right over there. You don't have a coffee machine here? Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one. Follow me. I hate my job. <laughs> this way. There's someone in my closet. Come. Come on. This way. Oh my god, it was right here. Joe. Joe, I am telling you. Joe, listen. I am telling you. I am telling you the coffee was here. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. It's right here. 
Where is it now? I don't know! Joe, I, I don't... Joe, I don't know. I, I don't know! Was the white van there the whole time? Are you serious? Is it back here? Oh! Oh! This fucker's in my closet! What happened? Show me your coffee machine! No, it's in the back of his van! Oh my god. It was Joe, I'm telling you, it was right here. Go back to your room. Don't tell me what to do. I say go back now. No, there's a fucker in my closet. No. Did you not hear me? I say go back to your room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. Okay. All right, oh, he's just a man in a big white van. You no, know, he's probably got some good candy in there. Man, all he had to do was give me some candy. We would have been talking. He gave me coffee, man. That's his fault. Yo, the closet is escaping now. The closet's kind of open. What is this? Requires water. Did he just drunk? Is he, is he, is he giving me medication? Drink, drink, drink. All right, so we just took the pills. Are you in there? No. Okay. All right, so he basically just helped us sober up. Excuse me? Uh-uh. No! Stop whispering hello to me! Goodbye! chills on my body. Yo, please stop. <laughs> stop. Y'all, guys. What? Oh. Text my voice. Stop. If I hide in the closet and it text my voice. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. No. I know you're in there. Nope. Nope. I'm hiding. Pedo guy, go away. Go away, pedo guy. Pedo guy, go away. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the pops. Pretty Leia. Oh!
The manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. He definitely had a, he definitely was just a serial killer. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. I do not blame you ever again. Yo, what? That was crazy. That was so good. What? 